Welcome back to this Barbie binge Friday. Yes. I'm still Maddie Conk, Barbie Conklin. And I'm still Ken. I love doing that voice, by the way. I wish I know. that was my real voice. I really do. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the second hour. We're so glad you're here. And joining us now is our good friend Nathan McCartney from Arctic Food Equipment. Now, Nathan, you started doing something that we absolutely love. Yeah. You're bringing in businesses that you yeah. helped set up, but we yeah. love that the business businesses bring us treats. That's true. Bring that's us true. food, Nathan. Especially yeah, your favorite true. kind of food. That's, that's true. Good food. Yeah, we've got like you know, like you, you said, we've got a wide range of um, people that we've worked with, and mm -hmm. and uh, we're pushing 30 years in business, and so the amount of restaurants and just really cool places that we've got the opportunity to work with is, is pretty long, so it's, it's been fun to get to highlight them and show them off and hopefully help them grow their businesses as well. Okay, and you have brought James and Magali from Cabos Bonitos, which is downtown. Correct. So, James, tell us a little bit, a little bit about the business. Well, we just opened on March 28th. Uh, I used to be a manager at Los Cabos back in Nash on National Street. Um, so when that closed down, I wanted to keep our little family tied together. <laughs> yeah. And so I decided to go ahead and open up my own restaurant. And what has been, I know it's challenging owning your own business, but especially a restaurant. So what has been your favorite thing about opening your own restaurant business? Mm -hmm. And what's been the most challenging? Most challenging is getting all the supplies that we need, especially to go items uh, to take out and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. it, they're behind on that. Uh, the best thing is getting to see all of my old customers and all the old regulars, and of course, all of my employees. And how has Arctic helped you with that? <laughs> really well. They uh, <laughs> helped us with our new equipment that we put in the kitchen, and they, Mel's been great also. She helped us out as well. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, they've been great. I, I believe that. I've been there. I've seen their stuff. <laughs> well, and I, I know also, it's good. I really love the fact that, you know, one, one place closed, everyone's kind of unsure, but you took everyone and then you guys were able to step in and make yeah, that dream a reality. Yeah, it's important to help, you know, keep the small businesses in business and um, families mm -hmm. employed and um, provide a great service to the local community. And that's that's really what makes the economy is, is being able to work together. It's so that's, true. That's what's cool about this. So area. Magali, you were going to be making some stuff for us today. We'll also talk about what you brought, but yes. talk about, do you want to start with the trash can nachos? Yeah, sure. Okay, how do you make it? So this, we have a lot of steps, but they are really easy to do. So we have our queso that we put on like top of all the the cheese. If you need a fork, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> you know, you know how queso is. We didn't have to get transported yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> we did have to make it at the restaurant and bring it here. So. Yes. <laughs> then, that looks amazing. I love queso. Yeah, that's really good. Then we put our grilled chicken. There's more kind of protein that you can use. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, you we can choose get chicken or ground beef. Shrimp. Shrimp. Ooh, can you get a combo? Yes. Brisket, yes. Yeah. Oh, because I want a combo. Brisket nachos, yeah. that's, that's a good one. <laughs> yes. Then we put our lettuce on top of everything. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. Yummy. Yummy. And then we have our like sauces. We put sour cream on top. See, I wish I had sour cream in a squeeze bottle. We can hook you I, up I'll with that. I'll get you that. <laughs> yeah. I'll go to Arctic. I'll give it to you for your birthday. Okay, thank surprise. you. And then we have our Chipotle Ranch that we we made it our own. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that. Right. that we make Is this a house. secret sauce? That makes that all the difference. Yes. If, if you give out the ingredients, you'd have to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. And on top, we put our pico de gallo. Oh, oh my, my goodness. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Lord, this looks beautiful. That's the trash can. And Yay. that's the trash can. And yes. Plaza Magali. Yes. <laughs> also, you yes. brought something that Maddie and I have never tried before. Yeah, so this is like a, not really common on restaurants, I can say. Mm -hmm. It's a fried avocados, and we put our base is a little bit of mixed cheese so the avocado doesn't move at all. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they stay. And we can do uh, the same whatever we uh, yes. meat we can or whatever you want to. This case oh, wow. is ground beef. I love ground beef. Okay. Yes, that's Can't like the the normal what people uh, choose to. That a lot of people like this shrimp yeah. one as well. Shrimp, okay. Shrimp yeah, is shrimp a big too. seller as well. I'm also curious though, where I I don't remember seeing a fried avocado on a menu before. Where yeah. did this come from? It, it came, sounds amazing. It came from um, actually uh, came from a recipe that Los Cabos used to have. And then we just uh, kind of redid a whole bunch of the spices and different things and made okay. it our own. Yes. Is so this too? is a no. Is what is this? No, this is sour cream sauce. Ooh. Oh, what? Like I'm in. Crema sauce. Which is also house made. Yes. Okay. Oh wow. We are a hand scratch kitchen, yes. and wow. all of our steak and stuff is local from Billings, Fantastic. Missouri. Fantastic. Okay. So we do support. Oh, I love it's local. Yeah, That's we perfect. We do support local as well. Uh, we put a little bit of mixed cheese on top. 
I can't wait to go there now and try this. I know. <laughs> Maddie, we have so many places and we can I, go. I'm curious because whenever I deal with avocados, it's like it, it, mushy, you know? So how do you keep them intact and fry them? Well. Is it hard? <laughs> we, it's not hard because we, we try to make it as fresh as we can. Okay. So whenever we have an order, we just like cut them and you know. And we, yeah. do, we do all the battering and everything yes. okay. at the time of order. Yeah. So it's real, everything is really fresh. And oh. we put chipotle. So James, sauce. as Maddie and I try these, can you explain what are the, what are the items you brought because the it salad. looks amazing? Sure, yeah, we also brought our fajitas. We brought, this is our combination Thank fajita, you. which I did say oh, our, stoke, our steak <laughs> is local. We use the skirt steak and with the chicken. Chicken. And then over there is a um, chicken avocado salad with a jalapeno ranch dressing, which is mm. house made, our ranch That's dressing well. is. And then we also brought a ground beef enchilada mm. with, uh, with our homemade chili con carne sauce on top with refried oh beans rice. Oh. By the way, that avocado is insane. Notice I took that down there. No. I did. Oh, no, guys. All right, Matt, you gotta get in there. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. That is truck. insanely delicious. It's kind of like the crunchy outside, but the soft inside. Then yeah. with all the, mm. you know, the, yeah. Yeah. the lettuce and the cheese and oh my gosh. And that chipotle sauce. Gosh, that's amazing. Okay, where are you located, James? We are on um, South Avenue downtown, uh, 406 South Avenue, where you took the old Maria's building. Yes, we'll be coming to see you. Awesome. Then we want a tour of the kitchen to see Nathan's all oh, the yeah. great equipment. That's great, because <laughs> yeah, we have two kitchens. We have our prep kitchen, then we have our regular kitchen that we serve out of, because with a lot of gluten-free and stuff like that, mm -hmm. we, oh, yeah. we have that separate kitchen that amazing. we can do, wow. do uh, for allergies and stuff like that. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you guys so Thank much. Nathan, good to so see much. you. Always good great to see you guys. See you guys. Happy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>